Mapping Culture in Spain, a digital humanities project, will eventually look like the project you see on the screen. This project, Mapping the Marginalized in Contemporary Spanish Literature, is housed in Northern Illinois University's Digital Humanities section of its institutional repository. As you see here, we have a list of hyperlinks of all of the urban sites mentioned in three novels read by both undergraduate and graduate students. If you click on one of these sites, it will take you to the exhibition side of the project. This exhibition holds both a video and a text. The video component is a means to introduce the following text and it is a video which summarizes and explains the historical and cultural significance of the urban site mentioned in the novel. The text is a thesis-driven text which explains uh, the function of said urban site in the novel. Now, all of this is searchable within uh, within the site. So let's say you would like to learn more information about an important street in Madrid called Gran Villa. You type that in and it'll give you a list of all of the entries that mention the Gran Villa and they're listed here. It is also searchable on Google. So everything you enter into Omica, which is what is powering the, the site, is completely uh, searchable within Google as well. Now this is the exhibition side of the project. If we go back to the main page, here we have a list of the three novels read by the students. Each of the novels has a corres corresponding digital map. So let's click on De Madrid al Cielo. Here we have the map. Let's get a full screen of the digital map created by the students. Here we have the different layers possible. Google Satellite, Google Hybrid, Google Streets, and Google Physical. Let's first initiate the Google Satellite. So here we have a picture of Madrid. This is the city of Madrid. If I pass the cursor over the hyperlinks created by the students, you'll see on the upper left-hand corner of the screen the name of the urban site. In this case, El Parque del Retiro. I can then click on the hyperlink and then both video and text will appear. You can scroll down, scroll down to read, read the text. The way in which this project is innovative and creative is the use of technology, right? And in this case, it allows users to explore Spain's urban structure, the map. So you can explore the map. You can, you can zoom into the map, get a closer version, view, zoom out as well. Uh, so it allows a uh, user to explore the urban structure and then the cultural production simultaneously. So you get the video and the text at the same time. So you can explore a map of the city, in this case Madrid, and access the hu humanities-related information that is geolocated on the map. Now the students made separate maps. This is one of, this is Madrid. They also have a map of uh, Barcelona as well. So let's go back and look at Barcelona. Scroll down. This is the novel that corresponds to Barcelona, El Rey del Mambo. It's the same idea, full screen. Click on the layers, Google Satellite, and here you see Barcelona. And I pass over the, the, the with the cursor over the different highlighted sites, and as you can see on the left-hand corner, the different uh, sites. And then I'll click, and we get the video and the text. And then quickly, I'd like to mention that I've all, all, all also completed this project on an off-campus. Uh, with an off-campus uh, program in Toledo. So quickly, the same idea. They read 
short stories, legends. We went into the streets to find the actual sites mentioned in the legends. And here's Toledo in all the hyperlinks. And quickly, so you can see as well, you can get different, uh, different uh, shots. So here we have the street names along with the Google satellite, or if you just want the street, you can get that, and then the physical contours. So to close, um, the students uh, really, really uh, like this project and the geographical components, the, the map of the digital humanities project rad radically transforms their experience of a traditional literature class. And then on the study abroad program, it's not the map, but the actual textual criticism linked to the map that makes both built environment and text come alive. So the true significance of this project is that it has the potential to give humanities-driven approaches to urban environments new recognition within the humanities, while also speaking to the increased interest in the humanities on the part of geographic disciplines.